Welcome back to new exercise in SOLIDWORKS. This is the advanced SOLIDWORKS surface tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to make this surface body a kind of a hair dryer half body. There is no thickness. All dimensions are in millimeter. So let's start with this upper body. This is the half body of a hair dryer. Now, first we will start with this top plane. Now, first we have to create a plane. Then we will create this all geometry. So let's start from here. We have to create a plane 75 millimeter here. Now this corner radius R20 even if you see the other view R20 this is R30 and there is one more radius this is peak radius R35 this side R25 and uh, 75 50 millimeter 75 then there is one uh, plane 50 millimeter then the third plane is 100 millimeter from this uh, plane 1 and uh, these radius are 25 125 125 this is the guide path and here path is not given because there is a radius at center and that is r35 this is the maximum radius so let's create this first now keep unit millimeter you can change simply from here right click and go to tabs and choose here check the box surfaces now we will start with right plane a sketch now here i am going to create our first sketch radius 20 into 2 let's connect now we want to make surface body so there is uh, no closed geometry we need trim okay now let's make this center one symmetric look this is radius 20 exit now drop down the menu of reference geometry create plane now the first plane is right plane and the distance 75 flip side okay again activate plane now this time reference plane is first plane 1 distance 50 flip side say okay now again choose plane reference plane plane 1 100 millimeter but flip side this side say okay now so let's the second sketch circle the second circle radius is 30 means diameter it's 20 uh, 60 now let me connect again we have to create this Keep trim entity, power trim, just move your left, drag and move your left mouse and see it's trimmed. Say OK. Click this line, construction geometry. Look. That's created. Exit. Now, let's go to. Now, let's create a path for this. Path always make in separate sketch, even both similar. So, top plane is sketch. Now I am going to choose three point arc. One twenty five radius. Okay. Now. Hold this point and this point merge this point this point merge this is fully defined this sketch so simply exit now again i am going to choose top plane sketch activate three point arc similarly create arc activate the smart dimension 125 radius isometric view okay now 
hold shift key and select these two points merge similarly these two points merge this is fully defined this sketch look exit and go to surfaces and activate looped surface clear now first we have to choose profile so i'll choose this one and two these two profile but see this is not moving in proper way so go to guide curves choose first second look how it's perfectly going to define merge tangent faces okay that's it now let's do for second and third second plane sketch this radius 35 because this is the maximum diameter 35 into 2 it's 70 activate line tool connect escape key to out again activate trim entity power trim just hold press and hold right mouse drag and it's trimmed say okay click sketch construction geometry see exit now select the third plane sketch activate circle tool the last diameter radius 25 so diameter should be 50 activate line tool now connect this similar process activate trim entity power trim drag and delete click construction geometry see the half sketch is created exit now let's make a path so path again top plane sketch three point arc okay now here let's choose this end point and this point coincide similarly this point hold shift key this point coincide now at this stage select this line and this curve this point coincide see this is fully defined sketch exit again top plane sketch activate three point arc similar procedure we have to repeat it here units even though you can mirror this one but let's do manually so we will understand select both the end point merge result similarly we will apply here end point end point merge similarly here hold shift key select this end point and this line coincide look this is black means our geometry is fully defined exit go to looped surface clear now here i am going to choose first sketch second sketch and third edge this is not a sketch this is edge see here edge also works guide curve similarly choose this curve and this curve look how is perfectly moves keep result show preview tangent faces say yes look now let's select this all three lines planes right click hide now here this end we have to close so we have to use planar surface planar surface applies only when you have a closed geometry in one plane or in same plane so this is the third plane let's say even though you can use but let's say sketch click this convert entity activate line tool now this is closed geometry look go to surface and click planar surface see it already detect the current sketch say okay now how many bodies are here one Two, three. Now the next thing we have to make this handle. So this handle, one side is different profile, another side is different profile. 
and distance 100 millimeter from this center. So, we have to create a plane. Then, let us focus. This outer profile 25 width 20, 15 millimeter from this end, okay. height 10 millimeter and both end tapered, tapered like 5 degree, 5 degree. Similarly, the second dotted line you will see this is inside of the body because we want to project on this curve. This is 17 millimeter width, I mean height, 8.5 distance from this end to here, 3.5 from this end to here. That is it and this is vertical. So, first let me create a plane, right plane plane and make 100 millimeter and perfect direction say ok a sketch now let me activate line tool and this is like a little taper body so it is like this and close a smart dimension let us choose a plane plane 2 this is 5 millimeter or 5 degree sorry not 5 millimeter it is a 5 degree 5 degree now height 10 millimeter and these distance 25 and distance from this end to this end it is 15 millimeter perfect. See the drawings are a fully defined exit look. Now let us choose some inside plane like front plane ok this is perfect for our because we want to project this is to this surface choose front plane a sketch now activate line tool something like this now distance 8.5 this distance shown Now, this distance shown 3.5, height 17, see this is fully defined this sketch, exit. Now, go to surface and here choose extrude or uh, not extrude, it is uh, going to be lifted surface, clear. First, I am going to choose this edge, second this edge. This is simple, direct, no need to define any plane or anything, keep merge tangent faces show preview, that is it, no more thing, ok. Let me hide this, ok, we want this face open, so here edit and we do not need this, yes, exit is still close because in second edit sketch 2, here also delete or say construction geometry, no, no need to delete, exit. Now look, it is open. Now let us apply trim surface. Now here we are going to apply mutual because the advantage of mutual it will merge both the body. This is the most important and most things. Now surfaces first, second. Keep selection. Now let us select keep selection. Select this one and this one. Here show included surface. Look, 
say okay look the unnecessary inside things remove and here now how many bodies three if i am going to un suppress this now here four body look one two three this one and four now this is the advantage if we choose mutual in trim surface the both become one body look the third one this is the one common body it helps in many ways now let's make this cut out these are the oblong 12 by 7 13 by 9 15 by 10 and this is the distance from this edge 16 32 50 so let's apply on top plane a sketch now activate ellipse and start from this bottom line i am going to apply the three smart dimension before applying dimension make one important relation now let's save this geometry somewhere like uh, surface exercise 157 horizontal relation hold shift key origin point and end point horizontal similarly here also this is important constraint or important relation now this is 12 mm by 7 13 by 9 15 by 10 okay let's start with the center distance for upper one 50 32 the middle one and the last one it's 16 mm extruded surface and make sure you extruded more than the height of this say okay now it's time to trim so go to trim surface now here again mutual surfaces let's say 1 2 3 4 now here remove selection let's say 1 2 3 inside this face this face and this face now look here preview show included surface so only included surface you will be see here now this is selected mutual so this all going to be merged and become one body say okay see this is the third body now again 100 plane 4 a sketch hold shift key select this edges convert entity activate line tool connect because we want a close geometry is surface planar see this is detected say yes now this is also close now here we have four geometries now the most important thing this central part this is little inside not at the top because we can't apply on top 
this is the center one is applies on a plane surface this is lies 119 millimeter from this corner and uh, here see the gap 5 millimeter from the top face 35 even if you see a section view see the bed is 30 millimeter from bottom corner fillet is r4 now let's go to detail view this is the outer one outer one one 60 by 35 first we have to apply on surface with the help of project curve then we will make uh, we will cut those then we will make one uh, one more plane just below the 5 millimeter and create this 50 by 27 then we will make this profile corner this is a oblong 1.2522 millimeter this is 38 by 1.5 millimeter and uh, center distance 4 millimeter and this is just 5 millimeter below see this is the section view so let's try to find out first create a plane top 35 because the max diameter here 35 is sketch activate ellipse now let's define the center distance 60 millimeter by 35 millimeter and center distance from here 119 millimeter okay this is still not defined because uh, hold shift key make constraint relation horizontal select these two points horizontal see this is fully defined exit now here apply project curve now we want to apply on this face sketch on faces face this one now you will see the preview say ok let me hide the plane now let's trim this now activate trim surface now here I am going to choose this standard now choose here trim tool curve keep selection so let's see select this and this is going to be trimmed say ok look it's trimmed now at below 5 millimeter we have to create a plane so below 5 millimeter means we have to create one more plane this is our existing plane 35 millimeter plane 5 millimeter but it should be below flip side say ok a sketch activate ellipse ok let's make few relations horizontal select this origi origin point and center point horizontal center distance 119 27 50 exit now let's combine this first let me hide the click on plane hide activate lifted surface now this is simple so i am going to choose this edge and this okay now this is not going to be fine so move something like here look move something like here so that you will get a perfect body keep everything normal merge result say okay 
now this is body now we have more bodies planar surface click this and it's going to close because this is already a closed profile say yes look a sketch let's draw a center line activate straight slot or let's say center straight slot okay okay now it's time to define the thing select these two equal dimension 22 1 1.5 okay. 38 okay now this 2.5 and distance from the corner click on this line and make sure it is horizontal because this is important for the dimension still it shows means this line is not perfectly horizontal okay let's apply that's it now center distance here you will see 4 millimeter okay now this center distance from this end 190 hold shift key select these two points vertical that's fully defined now select all geometry click mirror entity it's mirror no need to select one by one exit now make sure you selected this sketch go to surface and choose trim surface now here sketch already selected standard keep selection so i am going to choose this inside face this is going to keep and this is going to be removed Say OK. Look. See. Now the next thing we already finished. So let's apply knit surface and make one body and apply edge fillets. See this handle fillets 4 mm. This all handle have 4 mm fillet. See fillet applies at this edge, this edge, see here you will see some edges and uh, this oblong part also 4 millimeter R4 inside and outside both I will show you and uh, this end 8 millimeter. So first thing we have to merge all body and make one body because it's difficult to apply fillet if these all bodies are not merged. Knit surface. Let me select 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Merge entity say OK. Now see here only one body. Fillet. First 8 millimeter apply this end. Constant size fillet, symmetric, radius 8 millimeter. Again activate fillet, constant size and this time 4 millimeter radius symmetric and let's apply the edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
okay these corners are applied and this corner also need say yes look that's it now let me hide this curve project curve now this this corner seems blue means it is still surface body and open you will see this corner also seems little blue it means it is open let's apply some scenes or appearance even though you can edit appearance from here so this is this tutorial for the beginners those who want to learn solid works i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching